Hi now, it's uh, Lisa Stade here of the YouTube channel of uh, Lisa Stade and the other YouTube channel, Hitler Obsessed. To start off with Anastasia 1997 uh, by 20th Century Fox, not by uh, Disney. Uh, that's the animated film of Anastasia here with part, I think it's six or part five, maybe. I think part six of Sophia in the actual history. So, as Anastasia is doing the shopping in Paris, they do make references to other historical figures at the time. Uh, they have Sigmund Freud, which is a bit interesting because he doesn't turn up to, I guess, Paris. Maybe he's there because there's uh, American, I don't know, psychology or psychiatry. Uh, he's more famous for dream analysis and psychoanalysis psychoanalysis there, uh, as one of the founding fathers of psychology there. Uh, he does turn up in the movie in the 1928, uh, Paris shopping scene there, of uh, Paris is the key to your heart. They have other figures there of, uh, the artist, I think, who makes, uh, the Thinko, trying to remember his name. There's Picasso, I know, there's Bonnet. A lot of his artwork of the scenes in Paris is the key to your heart is the scene from, uh, uh is uh, based off of Van Gogh's and Monet's paintings. I think Van Gogh and the painter Monet, uh, does turn up in that song of Anastasia 997, Paris is the key to your heart. I know there's Charles Lindbergh who eventually becomes an Nazi sympathizer. Yeah, that's a little history to ruin your childhood movies there. Uh, it's always fun to bring up those guys. <laughs> How we, uh, as a persuade, uh, you know, sympathizes with Hitler and the Nazis after seeing the Berlin 1946 Olympics. Interesting thing, Hitler pulled the wool on that guy's eyes, too. But in the end, ended up eating it all up for Hitler. Just like everyone uh, buying stuff because of uh, another ad break sale. Yep. And so, welcome all to all. This is the new dumb, budgetated Adolf, I guess. Want a Mac? Want a, Mac a Big Mac? Go to McDonald's, buy it. Hitler and Goebbels is regurgitated propaganda. I'm, I'm always in and out Boston anyway myself. I always will be. Always an in out burger. A fan than a McDonald's. Oh, of course, you know. The Burger King is good too. Uh, but that's the, the movie though. The Anna Anya does turn up to who's now Anastasia. And a nice uh, gown there, and everyone's got a little tuxedo, which is Vladimir and uh, Dimitri there at the Paris Opera House, and this is based off of a real building in Paris. And here's an interesting fact, too. Hitler also visits that in, uh, 1940. I, I don't know why I, everybody likes those Hitler things here. Don't know why. Guess I like my Adolf obsession. That, that's a good outlook for me, and in public, I guess. Maybe. Uh. But Hitler does visit uh, on his private trip to Paris, uh, after conquering Paris in 1940. He does visit the, uh, Paris Opera House, and he has a attendant or an usher or somebody who gives information of the history of the Paris Opera House, uh, kind of grabbed off to the side and held hostage, but then one was fleed and ran away from Hitler. And I guess he was just the unlucky one because Hitler held the guy and had all his generals around him and decided to fulminate the guy with the same thing of his of of his uh position, I guess. Facts, trivia, and history about the Paris Opera. Hitler was famous for these monologues. He'd be probably great on YouTube too, I guess, if he used to do single videos of just monologues. It is uh, attendant that Hitler's uh, grabbed and held hostage, kind of like every probably student thinks about the history classes or professors 
you know, in any subject, let alone history, they just hold you hostage and tell you stuff and you have to do an exam or, or a test or an essay or a product of some kind. I guess you just feel bad like that the poor innocent uh Paris Opera House uh information guy or whatever for being held hostage, but eventually does uh, get away free, not home at all. He eventually runs off from Hitler. Uh, as Hitler's uh in the stupid monologue and eventually Hitler just realizes eventually where'd he go? Oh, he he just disappeared. Let's go on. Move on. I guess Hitler was just famous for being into these monologues. And the guy would disappear. Oh, like a kitty. You know. But no, you give some attention to him and then the cat just runs away and walks off like, oh, where'd the kitty go? Oh, I guess he moved off. Oh, well. <laughs> the kitty's gone. Uh, but so Anastasia, Anya, Anastasia, I guess, we'll just refer to now as Anastasia, and Dmitri and Vladimir watch the uh, Russian ballet performance before the intermission between the opera, uh, the ballet performance at the Paris Opera House to go to the post, the private uh, theater box that the Dowager Empress and Sophie is staying at to watch the Russian ballet of the, uh, by the Russian ballet troupe, I guess, there, in Paris, of their performance. First, Dmitri, uh, has Anya stay off to the side and wait outside while he tries to introduce him, or do the Dow Jampers, who pretty much tells him, you know, get the heck out of go F off, I'm not gonna see any more fakes, and I know who you all, uh, as a palace boy and your little friend, uh, Vladimir, you're both con artists from St. Petersburg trying to bring up more Anastasia's. You don't think I know, read the news. I read the news, kid. You know, that's like your parents telling you. You think you know everything? I know everything. I'm older than you and I read the news. You think your votes, that you know everything about politics? Well, I vote and I make the changes. Yeah, it's pretty much the boom or uh, silent generation Karen people, uh, Karen said the Kyle's talking down to the millennials and uh, the Gen Zeals, I guess. Uh, but that's pretty much what, uh, eventually Dimitri is sold out by the, uh, security of the Paris Opera House in front of Anya, who whacks the guy and walks off and gets mad at him, realizing his whole stupid plan just to get full ten. Well, five thousand dollar rubles, I guess. Uh, that was the award money that I mentioned. That was uh, that she did have in reality. If uh, if only uh, Anastasia ever turned up again in real life, alive, uh, and reunited back with her family. Uh, but uh, Dimitri does uh take the call, I guess, of uh. The limousine, uh, as Dow Jeffress in the movie is getting into the limousine, hijacks the thing, kidnaps the poor woman, uh, pretty much commits crime, <laughs> like he could get in trouble, and plus he's not in France, he's definitely been thrown back to the Soviet Union and killed, because that's how Stalin worked. If you escaped out of the Soviet Union and came back, you were as good as dead. Uh... But he eventually shoves the music box that, that he has all this time that was Anastasia to the the Dow Jampers and tells her, you know, the sob story of, you know, well, she's a sad and lonely girl. Just go talk to her. Go see if she is the real Anastasia. And take this with you. Why don't you? Because like, I've seen something around her next that looks kind of familiar. But take this with her and you'll find out. So eventually she comes into Anya's room. And Sophie's house, because she went back to Sophie's house to pack up all things and I guess go, Lord, who knows what, maybe even in history, jump off back to a bridge in Germany and they meet the real Adolf Hitler because we, we forgot the history of the actual story in the movie for the kids and the parents who keep happy just to get the, keep the corporate cash cow going, I guess. But we have a. Uh, 
But eventually, uh, the Dowager Empress realizes that, you know, she is Anastasia. And she realizes, Anastasia does realize that is a mother. And they're all happy. And reunited. And everybody's just the warm fuzzy feelings because she finally found her family. And it's almost a happy ending. Uh, but cuts off to Rasputin, who is dead uh, after failing to drown Anastasia in the boat scene. Uh, through his black magic, decides to go above ground, even though he's a fallen, pot, you know, comedic, melancholy, whingy, whiny, mud holder for corpse there, because he didn't get his weird revenge thing that he wanted. Weird goal, I'm gonna mention that one, but he hit those goals for Rasputin until sometime. Uh, but he is now hanging out in, I guess, this clock tower. Maybe it's a uh, big Ben in the UK somewhere, I guess, some Gothic uh, architectural with Bob Talk. And he gets a hold of this newspaper about the planned celebration because everybody found out, Anastasia was found out to be alive and well. And then she, Bob Talk ends up, uh, Telling Rasputin, you know, maybe you should just get a reality check and get over this, get over it, find something else better to do. And Rasputin's like, no, no, I'm gonna get rid of it because I have to fulfill whatever uh, goal I made uh, and exchange my soul for this valley cry for I don't know what, to live again or whatever, or guess to finally die and be put to rest. Uh, which pretty much he wants to turn up to the ball. Uh, and the next scene is of uh, Anastasia showing that drawing again that I mentioned in the first video here, of the series. Uh, and they're sharing memories of that and saying, and Anastasia's telling the Dow Tempest Marie that, oh, my Olga said it always made look like a pig riding a donkey. I don't know if that's ever referenced anything. And eventually, Dimitri is offered the ward money. He decides not to take it. The Dow Jumpers tells him, You ward solvent boy. And he chose not to take the money. Why? Because he's happy that she's got a family now that she wanted in Paris. She's reunited with him. And she leaves Anastasia with just, just saying goodbye without letting her know that he did not take the money. Now, here's the end of part five. Or. Part six. And uh, now I'm going to go off uh, tell continue to part I think six or seven I guess. And I am going to say like and subscribe to my YouTube channels of uh, Lisa State and Hitler Obsessed. Hit the notification bell. Donate to my Patreon and subscribe still. Leave me a comment on any of my videos in the channel of Lisa State and Hitler Obsessed. Go to bitshoot.com to see my BitChute channel of Lisa Marie State as one word. You can send me a fan request on my and a comment or just send a comment on my Facebook account of Lisa State. And uh, bye now. Continuing with the next video of this F-Winding series.